my my uh, my dream fight for uh, for Jaime Munguia would be Golovkin, and I I can say it on record that he can be the first one to knock out Golovkin. That's what Munguia can do, and so whether it's at 160 or 68, um, but Jaime Munguia is ready for the big fights this year. We want. I'm going to push as hard as I can this year to go after anybody at 168 for, or 60 for Jaime Munguia. And the fact that we're closing this fight with Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis working with PBC and Al Heyman, I think it makes it much easier to make these fights happen. So, uh, you know, it's for us, it's back to the drawing board and see, see what we can get for Jaime. But um, my, my, uh, my, uh, my plan is to, is to get him the Golovkin fight because I know he can knock him out. There's a lot of, I mean, that would obviously be a, a huge fight. Obviously, Ryan uh, uh, Tank is, is a big fight if it comes up. A fight that we do have for sure, uh, David Benavides versus Caleb Plant, man. How do, how, how do you think the, the, that one plays out stylistically in the ring? It's, it's, it's a good fight. Um, I think Plant has, uh, he, you know, he has, that, he has that fighter's mentality that I like. You know, he's, uh, he's sometimes a little too brave for his own good, but he knows how to box. He can back it up with his boxing ability, but I strongly feel that uh, I think Benavides is going to be too much for him. He's a big kid. He's a strong kid. He he has a good chin. Um, it might be a little complicated for him in the first few rounds, but once Benavides puts the pressure, puts the pressure, I think uh, I think he's going to, I think he's going to, you know, gas out maybe in the uh, later rounds and Benavides can possibly stop him. And uh, just last week, like you said, uh, in, in April, one uh, one big one. You guys got Ortiz versus uh, Stanionis, man. It's a, it's a big yeah. fight. It's a big yeah, fight. that's a hell of a fight. Yeah. That's a hell of a fight. We're we're, we're excited to uh, to finally get the world title for uh, for Virgil Ortiz. And um, it's 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 hard to say it's hard to say who can win or who can lose. Or but it's 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 going to be a good fight. That's the bottom line. And these are the types of fights that that we've been uh, we've been looking for. Um, for Virgil Ortiz, and so he's ready for anybody. I mean, with a record of 90 and 19 KOs, you have to go after the very best, and that's exactly what he wants. Um, you know, nobody really knows uh, his opponent, but um, but trust me, he's he's a tough, tough. Uh, they don't get tougher than that. That's for sure. So, cool. yeah. thank you, guys. Right, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can you jump in. Here?